I want to thank you for being part of the White Ribbon Project. You know, as a congressman, I get to see all the national statistics. I get to see the impact uh, as it affects the United States. And I also get to see the impact uh, of domestic violence, particularly against women, uh, and its international uh, impact. But I want to just tell you about a special window that I saw domestic violence through myself. That was when uh, I was a district attorney for 12 years. I got to see the violence that came from a family, a family next door that we never thought uh, anything like that could ever occur in. I got to hear from young people who talked about how domestic violence and that type of violence against women uh, affected their work in school and affected their lives. I learned that no matter who you were, you could be a, a healthcare professional treating the injuries that came from domestic violence and still have kept quiet about the fact that you were a victim yourself. What I also have learned is the tremendous courage that victims had in speaking up and going forth in their lives and protecting their own family and children because I saw what happened to children and families that witnessed violence. What I do know too is we can do something about it. We can prevent this from occurring, but it's just not the courage of the victim alone that can do it. We need the people that are witnessing this violence, that are side by side seeing this occur with their family, with their sister, their brother, their cousin, whether they're seeing it occur uh, with friends in the school setting. The power of the bystander to speak up and say no more will stop and prevent this type of domestic violence more than anything else. So when you put on that ribbon, this is just not a statement of what you believe. It's a statement of who you are as a person. Wear it proudly and take that thought into action. Thank you.